This is what six years of development has given us. Let's see if Windows Vista can be put to shame again. Hello everyone, welcome back to an operating system review where today we're going to be looking at Tuado OS, an operating system that took six years to develop by one guy from scratch, or mostly from scratch anyways. So without further ado, let's look at the website and the operating system, shall we? Before we get to the operating system, this is the website and actually you'll notice that it does look a lot like what we're gonna see so just be prepared uh, some of them don't quite work um, there are some different pages so we can, if we go to about you get that stuff you still get this thing over here the categories the tags and all that this is Kevin Lange he's the one who did that operating system so I'll try to get up to see if I can uh, get uh, in touch with him and uh give him a rating on his operating system so hopefully uh, that works if not uh, hopefully uh, the community could give me a hand on that I'd appreciate that a big time Tuaru OS is a hobby kernel and supporting user space built mostly from scratch in development since December of 2010 so that was six years ago and uh, yeah this December of 2017 is going to turn seven years old. Well, seven years he's been developing that, actually. So anyways, yeah, it's been developed under the University of Illinois and Urbana Champ Camp uh, Champaign? I don't know. Uh, it was for a period of time. It was the development focus of University SIGOPS chapter. It's open source, released under the NCSA slash University of Illinois license. Uh, you have sources available on the GitHub, and of course the live CD of the operating system is available for download. But first, I'm going to go to blog post. There's something on this website that I actually find interesting. Okay, so you see those windows, you can't really move them, okay? But you see the X? If you hit that, it's gone. So you can go ahead and just hit X on pretty much everything really and as you can see here now if we can manage it there you go you have nothing well, only the time actually only the time and date is active and these two sites these two links right here of course when you refresh or go away everything comes back well I thought it's a pretty neat Easter egg so now that we've covered the website let's cover the operating system shall we so this is Tuoru OS in its vanilla state and we have a little tutorial every time you boot the live CD and as you can see here you click pretty much everything and it tells you the tutorial in a nutshell but I have already seen this before. Now it does look a lot like ugh, Pony OS which we've covered and the similarities ends here. That's it. It has this it has the same more or less feeling but this guy did it right so anyways let's see what six years of development has given us viewers to review so in accessories we got calculator a clock widget file browser and terminal let's see the calculator for the hell of it eh, pretty basic okay we have some demos which is Oh, one of those again. Um, does Q quit? Yeah, Q quits. Hitting the Q button makes it quit. Perfect. So we're still with that. Ugh, come on. Pixman demo. I have no idea. One thing I do have to mention, though, it runs a lot faster. Uh, are we going to get Julia Fractals this time? Oh my god, what the fuck? Well, since both of them have all these, I believe they are part of the desktop environment, maybe? I don't know. 
Uh, well, in games we have mines, which is mines. You click on stuff and you blow up. Pretty much. X are mines. Graphics. We have Tuoto Paint. Whoa, 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 that's pretty basic. Um, let's see. New. Okay, so you have 500 by 500 or 800 by 600 and custom. Okay, uh, where are my, uh, color? Okay, let's... Well, it looks like we only have this tool and, uh, clear everything. Oh, this looks like an etch and, eh, etch and sketch. Uh, nope. Oh, wait. Learn save changes. Yeah, sure. I will quit. In settings, we have package... Yeah, package manager. Come on. And select wallpaper. Yeah, it's really finicky. And as wallpapers, we have all this. That's weird. Can I quit with Q? Yeah, Q still quits. Uh, help about to auto OS, which is 1.1.0 up to 2000 at 2017. And we have logout. <clears throat> but now, oops, 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 oops. Shit, I've double clicked it. You single click. And the password for local is local. And we have all these to install if you so desire. And um, I do believe some um, popular ones you'll see here is an SNES emulator, Quake, you can play MP3 files. Um, it has libjpeg, I've seen that, I didn't see any more wallpapers. And we have Doom. And the other ones, I don't know. Emoji one, we have kernel headers, and that's pretty much it. Top right, we have our connection info, which is pretty handy. Sound, we don't have any sound drivers, and we have a pointer. Wait, what? What does this thing do? Okay, it's not going to tell me. Perfect. Anyways, it's Tuesday, March 14. It's uh, yeah, 1223, even though it's 824 a.m., but yeah, that's We've covered pretty much it, and um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to install an application. So I'm going to install, I haven't never tried this before. It'll be installed, okay, done. Let it do its things, ta-da, and it installs the dependencies for you. I haven't seen the file manager yet, or the file browser. Wait, that was it? Ooh. Uh, come on, go home. No, go up. Wow, go up. Yeah, pretty standard for uh, Linux, Unix setups. Yeah. It is a Unix clone that's been built from scratch, by the way. So if you go to uname-r, as you'll see here, it has its own kernel. So, yeah. DIR is not found. We have LS instead, which doesn't show you much. So if you switch user, you can't. So you'll have to do root. No. You do sudo. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, change user. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's not forget the ISO file is. 25 point somewhat megabytes that's it so this is what six years of development and one guy have achieved so now I'm going to rate it a little bit different though <sighs> very interesting very interesting now I'm gonna have to rate it but like I've mentioned it's gonna have to be a little different because well 25 megs ain't gonna get you much and it's been built from scratch I believe it's just a project I don't know if he's still gonna be uh, using it or developing on it or building some more stuff on it but anyways it's worth a shot to just give it a rating and uh, give a few uh, of my suggestions anyways so as for an out-of-box experience well it's pretty damn minimalistic um, it doesn't have a lot of software pre-built, but yet again, what can you do with 25 megs, you know? The applications you can install, providing you have a working Ethernet adapter that is supported by the operating system, uh, it could get you more stuff, but 
yeah, you're really limited by that. So, I'd say five. Well, as for the look and feel, well, it does feel really minimalistic, but really elegant at the same time. It doesn't really uh, get you confused or have any rough edges or anything, but I guess that's thanks to the window manager that seems to be predominant pretty much everywhere, so that's a plus. And other than that, I wish there were more wallpapers, but that's not a big deal, really. So that's it. The ease of use. Well, you have a tutorial, you know exactly what you have in store for waiting for you. You have a, a package manager that's very minimalistic, but does the job. So it's pretty easy to use, pretty damn easy, surprisingly. For me, that's a 10. And as for customizability, even though we do have package manager, or a, well, a specific package manager anyways, we're limited to what we have. And the biggest thing I have to mention is, if we have internet, I'd rather drop that paid program and have something like Chromium or another lightweight browser maybe uh, could do the job. That would be a much more pleasant experience to have and running that on a 25 meg ISO, giving those very old machine a new well, breathe new life, that would be great, you know? So, that's my suggestion. But overall, that's a six. Thanks to the package manager giving, you know, a minimalistic but decent amount of uh, stuff. So overall, that operating system gets a 7.5 out of 10. So if you got any questions, comments, any other requests you'd like me to uh, review, <laughs> Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, as usual, until next time, stay bold and take care. Thanks for watching.